Hello, and welcome to another edition of Non-Crafty People Buying Yarn for Crafty People in Your Life. Today, we're going to look at yarn labels and the only other number that matters beyond length. Let's take a look at this giant yarn label. I don't know what this thing is, but this giant yarn label here that's easy to read. So it's telling us uh, no sword fighting. Uh, you'll be a king if you get this. Absolutely no triangles. And if you're playing Clue, the murder weapon was not the iron. But the number that matters is this one right here. It is the weight of the yarn. Don't worry about any of this other stuff. Let the crafty person worry about that. You worry about this number right here. It tells you the gauge of the yarn or how thick the yarn itself is. This is a six. It's one of the thickest that they come. They're one, two, three, four, five, six. One and two are really thin. Five and six, pretty fat. I know. You're looking for three and four. Those are the most common middle of the road choices you can make. But here's the catch. Not everyone calls them one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no, no, no. Around the world, they go by other names. And so if we look here at this skein of yarn, you'll see right here it says DK. DK, Aaron, and Worsted are other names for sizes three and four. So that's what you're looking for. The number three or four in the little yarn ball symbol or the words DK, Worsted or Aaron. It'll be the perfect size for the crafty person in your life.